Hello, this video is about using the header to automatically scroll to the rest of the page. What I mean with this, here we have a basic about page, but let's go to it as testimonials. We go to a different page and automatically we scroll down. But on this page, if we click pricing again, we automatically scroll down and we click how to and we scroll to the right place. So how do we do that, especially given the fact that actually this is its own header element and is communicating with the rest of the page. So to break it down here, we've got groups from the, the bottom, group A, B, C, and D. And then here we've got our header. And our header has these buttons. Let's see what each of these buttons looks like. So this button sets the state on the header itself. So when I, the header itself means we have to click to the outer header, so the topmost thing here under the options, and click info, and we created a state type number. Because whenever we click how to, we want to change the state to one, here to two, here to three, and here to four. And this allows us to control where to scroll to. So just on the header, we have when button how to is clicked, set the state to one, and then going to the page scrolling one, we have a do when condition is true. So when the header A scroll is one, then we automatically scroll to group A. So we clicked how to set the state to one, and then we scroll to group one. Okay. And we do this for all the other groups, depending of course when the number is two, we scroll to group B because in the header, we then clicked of course testimonials. Okay, and then the next part is actually we have to reset the state. So we set the state within the header, but we reset the state on the page. So that's the whole kind of trick because normally when you set a state, you can only communicate with the things on that page. We cannot communicate with anything inside the header. So here on the page scrolling, we cannot communicate with what's inside the header so that how to, for example, doesn't come up the button. So therefore we have to set the state of the entire header and therefore we also use the state of the entire header and here we set it to empty. Why do we have to do that to set it back to empty? It's so we can click testimonials for instance twice. So here for example we click testimonials and we click it again and again it scrolls down. If we remove this, so this is I think the second one, I believe. Yeah. So if we remove this just to show you, it will actually work the first time, but then it won't work anymore. So therefore we have to reset it because Bubble then sees no change happening. Okay, and then you may have seen something else which is that when we click more, so when we go to the about page, this is the page I started the video on, then actually when we click, for example, pricing, again, we scroll down to pricing. So how do we do that? So this time it's not via the states because every time I actually um, refresh a page, the states are also refreshed and forgotten by Bubble. So therefore I have to use the URL parameters. They're actually hidden here by my browser, but here you can see I set scroll equals three. And so therefore it understood to go to pricing. So going back again to the header, what we did for each of them, so we did not only set a state because the state only works for the one page we were on or whatever pages uses this do when state is one, but we, now want something to happen only on a particular page. And this is to, when we're on this different page, which was the about page called scrolling to. So when the page is scrolling to, only in that case, do we want to go to scrolling one, which is the page which has all the four options on it. But we do not just want to go only to the page, but we also want to send uh, with us the information that scroll is one or for pricing that scroll is three or testimonials that scroll is two. But only when our current page name is scrolling two. So only when we're on the about page, we then 
when we click how to automatically scroll down to how to using a scroll is one. And so again here, we also have to receive this URL parameter. So the first part was sending it depending on which button we clicked. And the second part is we here clicked pages loaded. And then only when pages loaded and the scroll is not empty so that there's some information passed on. So scroll is one, two, three, or four. Only in that case do we scroll to group A. But to group A, we only want to scroll when the scroll is exactly one. To group B, we scroll when the scroll is two. C when it's three, D when it's four. And so this explains if I change this to three and press enter, automatically we scroll to pricing because it understood that. And then if we click testimonials, this time it did not change the URL, but just changed the state because we only, if we look back at the header, we are only going to another page and it's changing the URL parameter. If our current page name is scrolling two, but here we're on scrolling one, that's the page. And when we click testimonials, we therefore, or how to we therefore go to that place. Okay, so what we were doing just as a quick summary is we have the buttons in our header. We have a state on the outermost part of the header type number. And when we click the buttons, we set a different state. And also we set URL parameters if we want to go to a different page. And the URL parameters are also just passing a number. And then on the other page, we either receive the URL parameters, looking if they're not empty and looking if they're one, two, or three to scroll to a group, or looking using do when condition is true, which can be found here, do when condition is true, using that to whether the parameter is one, two, three, or four to scroll to a group, but also to reset the state and therefore kind of allow us to use this functionality to scroll up and down here. I was just adding the state we took out just to show you that we really need that to reset anything by clicking it twice. Hope this video helped. For short tips on bubble, check hiplister.com where I also have a weekly newsletter on bubble tips. Cheers.